Hello, right, today's little adventure is based here, Sharpness Docks. This is where all the river traffic comes up the Severn. Farther on up here you've got nasty sandbanks and things, so it pops across here through the dock, jumps onto the uh, Gloucester to Sharpness Canal and carries on up there. But today we're not interested in boats, we're looking at railways. And I guess one of the biggest claims to fame about this part of the rail network is that this is where the rails used to jump across the River Severn on a rail bridge. 16 or 17 spans I think it was. Unfortunately two spans got blown out in an accident with a pair of barges and it was never repaired and it's since been dismantled, taken down, nothing really to see. But don't despair because being a very very busy dock area there was tons of railways in there, so it's quite interesting. Let's go take a look. I thought this was billed as a uh, footbridge. Come on. This is where it all begins then. This is the main line, or was the main line, from England going across to Wales once upon a time over the old uh, Severn Rail Bridge. Still in good working order and still used, but of course no longer goes to South Wales. So that's looking then towards the main line to Bristol, Gloucester, north south. And that's the line as it heads for, or used to head for South Wales, and now heads for the docks. Lovely old spear point fencing here, also here. And as you can see, kept well oiled. Top of all that squeaking in the middle of the night, I expect. No missing the heritage of the uh, kissing gate here. All things made from rail by the looks. We'll head for the docks now for orientation purposes and then we'll go on from there. Morning from Sharpness Docks. And impressive though it is, we're not here to look at the docks today. We're here to look at the rail infrastructure. Well, by the way, that's the tidal basin with the lock beyond and then the main docks beyond that. This would have been part of the marshing area on this side of the docks. The old rail stop here. Well built, as you might imagine. A clue there. Although it was, in fact, a joint venture between Great Western and the Midland. One of the few. You can make out the docks in the distance, and so all this in front of us would have been marshalling yards. Still some rail in situ here. Docks in the background, and this is where the rail system starts to get complex. Converging rail here, look. And if we get over to there, Forms a scissor and out it goes again. Slowly just disappearing. And Mother Nature grabbing it back. Oh, look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Dogs forming a backdrop. Complicated. Getting nearer to the docks now, and you can see here where the rails cross the road. The marshalling yards behind us, the docks are on down there. 
This is the main dock area. Very much to the working dock. That way towards the dry dock on the left. And that's the main entrance lock there, full of water still. Evidence of a railway line here, look, going dockside. Maybe their own personal siding. I will head down here, which will take us alongside the dock. Still following the rail, as it heads into the main dock area, and all the private sidings. See the rails here, and there's another set over there, if you can make them out. It was a set of points at one time. Jammed open on this side. And fully closed on this side. This is the access road then. The railway would have been between here and the uh, docks buildings and the main lines on the right. The beauty of being on location you never know who you'll meet. Because we lived at Barkett Road, my father was on the London, Midland and Scottish yeah, Railway. Yeah. Then we moved into Gloucester about 19... what would it be? 1937, 38, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, he event ended up as a passenger guard. And did he like, really? Yeah. Wow. Did, did that mean he didn't get home every night? Oh, he used to be off at all different shifts all yeah. through the day and night. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow, what a lovely memory. Yeah. Well done you. And he was even, they, they discovered that he was colour blind, so he had to give up as a guard. Ooh. <laughs> and they put him on station announcing at Gloucester Railway Station. Mm, well, I'm done. I might well have heard him, because I come from Gloucester. I might well have heard him when I've been I, on the I, train. I, yeah, we well, might have done it. And it was, um, I mean, he, he was away in the war. For, uh, uh, even though he was, um, they were um, excused. So yeah, he, yeah. Uh, he wanted to go. His family were all military, really? and he wanted to go. But um, and he, he came he back. He took it up again. And, yeah, uh, he survived. One of the yeah, few. Yeah. Yeah. I got a few pictures of him. He was a shunter to begin with when he moved there, and yeah, um, uh, yeah. pictures of him with his long pole. Yeah. And, uh, wow. George Hooper. George Hooper. And you're the one on the right. Yeah, the little one. The little one. With a cheeky look on his face. George, isn't that amazing? The Severn Rail Crossing has a backdrop. Wow. Oh, what some lovely memories. Thanks for sharing, George. That's George then on his way. Thank you, George. You meet some very interesting characters on these walks. So that's the railway heading north on the low level to go around the docks on the low level bridge. But if you look over there on the right, in the main road, you can see the link back to the main line. Crosses the road, heads off into there. We'll take a look. Heading towards Gloucester and Bristol. Now, if we go a little bit farther, you can see evidence here more rails. All part of the main structure. And a points lever, look. Will it? I very much doubt it. It used to. Well, damn me. We had to try it, didn't we? So these are the lines running past the docks buildings then. What we've just uh, seen there was the connection to the dockside railway and the way over the uh, dock itself. Now if we carry on up here, 
Off to the side here, yet another points lever. Solid as a rock. <laughs> The points that it operated are through there somewhere. Off to the side there, you can see all the rails. Foraging! Yeah, good girl. So, which, okay. what's the name of the road? Old Minster Road. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks very much. No for worries, help. you take, take care. care. Bye bye. bye. I'm going for a set side. Good day. <laughs> I'll come back later. So, I reckon the railway then, the main line, is down there. On this side are the houses. Right, carry on. Following what should be the main line on our left then. Here at the end of the road, under what is always coveted by railway uh, companies, which is a nice pine tree, is what I reckon is, or was, Station Hotel. What did the banner say across the top there? I wonder. Quite where the station was, I wouldn't like to say. Except that just of here is a substantial rail bridge, which is probably a clue. So possibly down there, Although we're on the high level railway here, so job to say, unless the embankment's been grubbed out. And just over here, hidden with the farm buildings, is the engine house. Well, I'm done. Just off there on the right. So are we on the road or are we on the rail? Well, it dips away there, so I'm guessing this is the road. Not a lot to be seen on the other side, unless that's a retaining wall down there. Can't really get it, too much contrast. It's a lovely old rail bridge, heading towards the docks this way. Leaving behind the station hotel behind us. Well, this is where the high level railway then, having come across from South Wales, on the uh, Severn Rail Bridge. We'll head towards the docks. Crossing on this viaduct. With the docks away to our left. Road and rail side by side. They've used huge substantial timbers here, but of course, given time. We've now reached here, which is the high level bridge. They had enough space to take it down to dock level had they wanted to, but they didn't. They wanted to use the height as a gravity feed to empty their coal trucks. There's the low level bridge. Still gets open and closed today when the uh, tall ships come through. All modern looking and swish. This is the old controls. Tempting, isn't it? Huge great barge there. That's where they used to stack the timber. Sharps Marine.
Lovely old abutments down there. Well, this is a reasonable angle to make out the embankment over there. So they could maintain the height gain coming over the rail bridge, Severn rail bridge, and then use gravity to empty the coal. Part of the bridge structure. Look at the size of that engineering. Wow. Lovely brickwork too. That's the view from ground level. Not quite so pretty. And here are the rails beside the road. They converge into one line here. So this is where they cross the low level bridge. Shared between road and rail. With the rail taking the uh, centre position. Spread the load I guess. They're still being swung out and used. Not sure if they still use that to do the job. Good shot of the high level bridge from here. Then it dives in off the road. Once again to go run alongside the dockside buildings. That's where we came in. That's looking back. We'll stay up on the embankment. See what this shows us. We should find coal tips in theory. A large area, probably a marshing area, would you think? Empty containers or empty trucks and full trucks. See what we can see. Somewhere off to the right there, I was a coal tip that tipped into canal barges. So it tipped above the canal. Uh, looking at the train, I think it's probably where that lorry is. And that's the uh, Dockers Social Club up there. But it's a free house for anybody. Let's see if we can make some sense out of this. This is where we started. This was the marshing yards alongside the uh, tidal dock and we had a look at some of the rail systems going through there. Then we cut through up onto the higher level which was the main through route to uh, Wales. Then we went from the station hotel which is about there. We went across the high level bridge. We popped down briefly and had a look at the low level bridge. Now we've climbed up on top of the embankment and we're having a look along here. Well we, we will be uh, having a look along there. I think that's where they used to discharge coal into barges uh, there, barges or boats. And then we'll pop down again and have a look at the docks on this side. And there's still lots and lots of things to see. Oh, we've been following paths and various routes, meandering along. And we've come to this lovely old accommodation bridge. Oh, nice. Look at the length of that thing, crikey me. And beautifully built, lovely stone and a bit of the old engineering brick along the roof. Oh, gorgeous. Now I wonder. What do you think? Doesn't look so steep on the blooming screen. Oh, worth a shot. Allotment's actually on top of the bridge. How wonderful. I don't know what they do for soil. 
that would have been Docker's accommodation down there. Or some rail workers, I guess. So they've taken over the woods. Well done then. This shed here looks even got a letterbox. See where this goes to. They eventually we come out here. No sign of the cold tip, unfortunately. Well, we'll go and see what else we can find. The road leading uh, along the workmen's cottages in the front this time. If you look just above the Morris Thousand into the undergrowth, I think that's the start of the uh, cold tip. The bunker in the ships. Whether we'll find anything else is debatable. I've just climbed the bank and from here there was a viaduct which went across to where that rather noisy fan is to the dockside at a high level for bunkering ships. I guess they'd load cargo as well if they had the chance. Uh, the buildings there have now destroyed it. Never mind. Well, the railways leave the dockside here and head off there to a special treat. How about that? I mean, that's a beast, isn't it? What's that? This thing, crikey, really. What, this flatbed? Yeah. Yeah, we're all about using it in the next couple of days, that's why we... No. These are designed for carrying railway lines. How did you get interested in railways? Well, I always have, you know, when I was uh, a, a kid, you know, teenage kids did train spotting. Yeah, I did it myself. You know, it was all wonderful steam engines. It all sort of dates from the days when, you know, you could, when a train stopped, you could just go in the cab with the driver. Yes, yes. That chance now. Oh my gosh. So this is a, an 060 austerity tank. Right. And it's in here because there's, there's problems with the boiler. I mean, we've got a couple of people are, are working on it at the moment. There's large sort of rusty... They're, they're the expensive bits, aren't they? The oh, yeah. Very well. And also very, very complicated. Because you see here, this has been repaired before. Oh, yeah. You see, somebody's well Yeah, yeah. And Is that allowed? Yeah. That's pretty, that's oh, pretty yeah. Nice, isn't it? Right, that's the old tube plate off yeah. the front of it, yeah. and it's knackered. And we've made a new one, built a new one using that as a pattern. Black it, five. Do you know what a black five is? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, the last one to come out of Barry's scrapyard. No, really? Yeah. So this is a, a Midland 4F 060 tender engine, 44027. Um, it's come from, it belongs to the National Rail Museum, but they've got nowhere to keep it, so they've given it to us to restore. It's been stripped right down, wheels have come on. Yeah, that was your sort of Midland railway. But it used for shunting a lot? No. 
No, or general no, duties? No, um, pick up freight. I was working on the military railways in, in France. Um, 1940, we had to leave France in a bit of a hurry and it got left behind and abandoned. And it sort of passed through various sort of French yeah, the... well, quarries and, and... Yeah. That was, that was scrap, so... Did you get it glowing red? Oh, yes. <laughs> you can toast your crumpets on it. <laughs> This was a nice little thing we got from Scotland. It was advertised as a tool rack. It's very neat and tidy. 25 quid for a tool rack. Wow. When, we, when, we, when we went to get it, it was full of tools. OK, so off we go. That was interesting. Special personal tours. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Well, this looks interesting. Tidal basin, now with the tide out. That way to the sea, well, the river anyway. A working shipyard. Filled with people's hopes and dreams. One day. There's the top of the lock gates. Huge things. And that is the lock. This looks interesting. The end. Well, this is where we started, so this is where we'll finish. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for your company. Just the usual, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it really would help if you did. Bottom right. And if you uh, would like to click like or share, all helps a lot. And I'll. Catch you on the next one.